Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fox 28 Morning News. Steve Duval, Allison Preston, meteorologist Joe Hansel. A very warm- For many of us in Michiana, it seems like Steve has always been there, waking us up every morning right here on Fox 28. But in reality, when Steve began his broadcasting career, TV news wasn't even something he was interested in. I got into news. I was a radio guy. Always wanted to be a radio guy. Did radio for years. Was working at a mom and pop radio station. One of the big corporations was coming in, buying everybody up. I caught wind. Everybody was gone, cleaning house. I caught wind that the local Fox affiliate that in Toledo was hiring for a kids host. So I applied for that job. I got it. So I was doing some kids programming for a couple of years. Fox did away with the kids programming. I thought I was out of a job. I got called in the general manager's office one day. Operations manager was in there. I thought I was done. They said, how would you like to work in news? My response, I'm doing what? Longtime viewers may remember that Steve started out as the morning weathercaster. Well, we have some very moist, unstable air just kind of hanging out, you know, and then we got to a weak little upper level disturbance coming here. Those two are going to hook up, mm-hmm, going to get it on and make some rain later on. That's what's But over the years, he's been so much more. A daredevil. Okay, give him something a little bit of Yeehaw! See, I lived out in Oklahoma for a while. You feeling like a cowboy? Uh, is that legal? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you got to buy me dinner first. <laughs> An investigative journalist. So here's one we couldn't figure out. Wedged right in between hairstylist and manicurist. Half. Have a happy half birthday. I don't even know what that means. Lucky for us, store manager Karen Keeney was on the scene to solve the mystery. Half year. Every six months, you send a birthday card. If you want. If, if you, you wish. Want. If you wish. Do people do that? Personally, I've never sold one. See some of the crazy cards? Yeah, may yeah, I? Where have you got this? Crazy Where? Cards. A card for oh. your new apartment? Oh, for heaven's sakes. A car for your driver's license? An associate's degree. Have you ever a seen anything like that? Never. A tonsillectomy for kids. I'll be darned. I need, how about a knee, do you see one for knee surgery anywhere? Do you, I, do you need a knee surgery card? Yeah, I, I have a friend that's going to have knee surgery. Well, let's see. Let's if we can, look. Searching for a knee surgery card in Mishawaka, Steve Duval, Fox 28 News. The government has nuclear weapons, chemical weapons, but thanks to the National Examiner, we now know about their latest weapon technology, slime. Picture a well-groomed platoon marching with slime rifles, or the lone soldier with a slime bazooka. No fatalities here, just a big glob of gunk in your hair or beard. People would be lined up around the block to get their hair care products. In fact, it's easier to launch a rocket than get slime out of your hair. It takes a long time, a lot of water and a lot of soap. It's really difficult to do. It really would keep people busy. I can see why the government might be using it. Let's venture into HealthWorks secret lab to see just how the government would make slime. Well, the feds may have their work cut out for them. The arduous process involves mixing a little glue, borax, and water, and to sass it up, food coloring. Would you say this would be military grade slime? I think they might want to add a few other things into it, but we think this would work just perfect. This is a real squishy tape. This is the tape that might work really well in a slingshot. Well, looks like the slime worked. Getting slime at HealthWorks in South Bend. Steve Duval, Fox 28 News. A political commentator. Bill of Rights. We have the right to do things and the right to do some stuff. But the real question here is, should animals have their Bill of Rights? Well, according to the National Examiner, they should. In fact, in Germany, the pigs have their own Bill of Rights. And of course, how could we forget movie critic? And now the nutty adventures begin. We're talking kung fu midgets, backstabbing chicks, hallucinogenic fruit, and cows. Now, for all you action hero fans out there, Arnold has a cameo, a two-second cameo. He says... Have fun, and critics are saying it's Arnold's way of passing the action hero torch to The Rock. So I decided I'd put a cameo in this movie review. Ladies and gentlemen, The Rock. I thought I was giving up an afternoon nap to see this, and as it turns out, I wasn't. I could have slept through the entire movie and come out well rested on the other side. I'm gonna say, ah! Oh my God! I know him! I know him! 
things are pretty cold up here in the North Pole. You can see Dickie and I are all bundled up and shaking, but one thing that's hot, Will Ferrell, so hot in fact, next year he's got six movies slated to come out, so that's more Will Ferrell than you can shake a snowman at. Now if you're looking for a film with a good story and a good plot, this isn't for you. If you're looking for a movie with a lot of action, this is it. <laughs> Hey, you got your peanut butter and my chocolate. You got your chocolate and my peanut butter. But the action, much like this combination, is delicious. delicious. Now, don't make the same mistake I did. I went in thinking this movie was going to be nonstop action. Whoa, easy there, Trucky. Hang on. Woo. And once he made it full time to the anchor desk, Steve made sure to keep his co-anchors on their toes. One of the people rescued may have some... Oh, look how cute they are. Look at that, Allison. You're not looking. So cute. Oh, you weren't even looking. You cat people disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're good people. That uh, People are going to be fine, though, right now. Firefighters don't know what started the fire. My guess, it was the cat. Oh, no. It you can't was. blame the cat. It was, but you, weren't even look, is... you weren't even looking at those puppies. Welcome back, everyone. We are coming up on 9 o'clock. <laughs> Got a question for you. Do you know what a cooter is? A mechanic who works... On the General Lee is one. <laughs> yeah, there's a large turtle living in southern U.S. or northern Mexico. That's the answer we're looking for here. Cooter fast. Woo, woo. Who loves celebrating cooters? Bucky Covington. <laughs> yeah, from American Idol. Remember Bucky? He was in South Carolina getting his cooter on. Oh, so are all those people. <laughs> Mayor Jackson says the cooter party gets bigger every year. There's Bucky getting his cooter on. <laughs> Cooterfest.com. Check it out yourself. <laughs> Got cooter? You need one of those shirts. All right, one last thing. I'm talking Oscars in our email question today. What do you think is going to happen Sunday night? Yeah, lots going on Sunday. We got uh, Chris Rock hosting. A lot of people excited about that. Granted, he's created a little controversy lately. Yes, there. he has, he's... but was, maybe that's intentional. Maybe he's just trying no, stop. to... I'm sorry, stop. You know what? We sit out here every day, try and talk. Can I, can I just get through this email question without, uh, without some interruptions? I'm, I'm done. How about that? Good, best Oscar picture? <laughs> I could tell we had a little acting scene Best going on here. Do you think here. that? Should I be nominated there? Did that work? Because you don't know I don't want to do the wedding. Did you buy it? Did you buy it? <laughs> have stuff? you been watching Chris Rock or what? Or what? No, oh, no. If I'm watching Chris, we don't have a seven-second delay here. Oh. <laughs> no, we don't. No, even though well, he's very you know, funny. maybe you don't need to watch the Oscars because you watch Wake Up Every Morning, right? Exactly. <laughs> Laid out on the beach, ate a lot, got engaged, went snorkeling. Got engaged? Yep. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I was going to ask kind of as a joke. No, no. I don't think <laughs> right now. Oh, I'm so happy for Thank you. Thank you. And from that engagement to former Fox 28 anchor Tracy Capelman came a marriage and two children. This is Delaney and London. Tonight we're at the Daddy Daughter Dance again. Woo! Woo! Tonight's Frozen theme. It's a Frozen theme. So, what are we going to do, Delaney? We're going to play a game that's called What? That's right, a little fill in the lyrics with some of the dancers. And so, after almost 16 years, an estimated 4,000 episodes, and countless memories, Steve Devell says goodbye. Some time ago, we asked Steve what he would want to be remembered for. I want people to remember, oh yeah, I used to wake up with you. You know, it was, it was great, you were, you were informative, you were funny, you really, you know, you made my mornings great. And that's, that's what I want to be known for, bringing, making a difference or bringing a smile to someone in the morning as they're getting ready for work. That's that's what I like to do and part of why I do what I do uh, and why I did morning radio and why I did comedy, one of my favorite things to do is to make people laugh. So if I can do that and if that's all I'm remembered for, I'm fine with that. It's a legacy we can safely say is secure. For Fox 28 News, Ray Grossman reporting. That's all the lyrics I got, because that's all there is. Good night, Michiana, we love you!